morning. We're in Crested Butte. Got here last night. It's the day after the 4th of July. We somehow got a designated campsite, which blows my mind. I was expecting that we would be in something dispersed, but um, yeah, I guess we technically got lucky. It's a small campground. I don't even know the name of it, but I'll check on that. And we're gonna be here for the next like day and a half. So I'm gonna take you guys around, show you Crested Butte, show you the hike that we're gonna do with the dogs today. Just made some breakfast, so we're gonna eat that, but my mind must not be working because I forgot something that I need for my coffee and I was planning on making breakfast tacos and forgot tortillas. So it's just gonna be a scramble. And then we're gonna head out to the hike, which I think is about an hour from where we are right now. This is what you get at the top. Literally, like the definition of 360 views all around you. Steep, but worth it. We came up the opposite direction of what, like, the actual route is what all trails tells you to do. We went clockwise. So we did that because apparently um, that would make our descent a little less steep. But we actually have longer to go on the way down now. Um, so hopefully it was worth it. We'll see. something a little bold on the way back down from the hike there is this other campground called Lake Irwin campground that would have obviously been full on 4th of July but it's the day after 4th of July and checkout is 1 o'clock we passed it right at the perfect moment so we went through and noticed a spot open so we're actually gonna move over there because there's a lake and I would like to be in the water and ladybird who you can't see would like to be in the water. But first we're gonna grab some lunch at this place called The Secret Stash in what I'm assuming is downtown Crested Butte. It's a really cute downtown. So, um, bad news. That restaurant that we were at was delicious, but pretty sure I left my camera there. Recording this on my phone right now. It's been two hours since we left the restaurant. We're now at our new campground, and I just realized that, don't have the camera. We were talking with another couple, got distracted, and it's raining, like lightning too. So I'm just gonna drive back down the hill to try to get cell phone reception and call the restaurant. I don't have the energy to drive all the way back down there tonight, I don't think. I don't know, we'll see. Well, after uh, driving all the way down here because I got zero cell signal, the camera's not here. They put me on hold for like 15 minutes. It's pouring rain. I just went in eventually. And they said it's not there. I don't understand because I, I know I left it on the table. So you would think that like the table would be cleared and that somebody would have found it. But apparently that didn't happen. So I'm going to check back with them tomorrow and we'll see. I got back to the campground and um, our tent is falling apart. So we've lost the camera. It's pouring rain. Tent is falling apart. Cole's feet stink. And we're literally just stuck in here right now. It's not great. I'm gonna keep documenting this in the event that we do find the camera somehow. The other couple that was sitting next to us who we were talking to at the restaurant, turns out they are camping like two spots down from us at the same campground. So I went over there and asked them 
if they saw the camera and they said no but they did confirm that it was on the ground by my purse which is odd that I wouldn't have grabbed it driving down the mountain, leaving Crested Butte today, and we were gonna stop by the restaurant, The Secret Stash, just to make sure they didn't have my camera. Because I just didn't believe that the people here would be the kind of people to steal it. As soon as I got cell phone reception, I got a voicemail. We popped in, they gave it to me. All is, once again, well with the world. I don't have to buy a new camera. <laughs> Found my camera, bought this hat, got some lunch, and then we went into this super cute little like candy ice cream place. Cole got ice cream, and um, I got an iced latte, because I'm boring. But it was, looked delicious. They had like all these different mini donuts. And that concludes our time in Crested Butte. Wasn't really the trip that, I was a fine trip. It was a fine. Really great trip. It was a good trip. Just some hiccups along the way, which is uh, okay. Yeah. Debating if this hat looks too big. It looks like really big on camera. Does it look this big in person? I think it looks okay. Back to Denver.